Hey everybody, as you may know already, I am in Sedona, Arizona right now with a Sony event and I'm lucky enough to be sitting next to Stan Moniz What's right up, now. Guys? If you don't know a lot about astrophotography, you may or may not know about him. He's kind <laughs> of a badass. <laughs> still learning, still learning. In this video, I will talk to you a little bit, well, Stan will talk to you a little bit about what we are going to do this evening with the night sky. And also, maybe something that beginners to astrophotography, like myself, get wrong, yeah. something that they can do better. And then we'll tell you all how you can go see his super cool, amazing work. Oh, well, thank Sound you. Sound good? Okay, what are we doing tonight? I know we're gonna go take pictures of the night sky. Yeah, so we're probably just gonna go over, you know, a brief summary of how you capture pinpoint, and star, uh, pinpoint stars, you know? Capture okay. it correctly. You know, and so we're, we're actually gonna head out after dinner up, up on one of these mesas and Orion is coming above this mesa right now. I kind of, I get really geeky with all my, my apps. I use Stellarium, which is a really cool app. And okay. I, I, I was uh, kind of like already foretelling the future of, of this really good composition that I want you guys to capture. And we are, we are, we actually got a comet, you know, next to Orion with Palladius. It's, it's like a, a, it's got a lateral triangle. So it's kind of geeky stuff, but it's gonna look really cool in a photo coming up with this mesa. So I'm gonna yeah. kind of give you guys a few pointers and then just help you guys out and get some killer shots out here in Sedona. Right. Okay, so yeah. what's funny is that you said we get a triangle. In my history classes, they always talked about a stable composition yeah. being a triangle. And yes. How it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, we got it last night and it was so beautiful, yeah. you know? And it, it just, it just, I just love the night sky. It's so awesome just to be with one with nature like that, you know? It is. I, I get it now. I get it all. Y'all have been <laughs> for years to go do it. I get it. Because <laughs> yeah, gonna... I've gone out twice now. <laughs> and okay, so I'm excited that we're going to learn how to get the focus yeah, right. Because yeah. that is, that was touchy for me. Yeah, it's, you know, astrophotography is not, you know, rocket science. I mean, yeah. learning about the space, <laughs> that's that whole different story, the stars and stuff. But it's a very easy, you know, um, it's it's a discipline to learn, you know. If you, you know, I do a lot of workshops and stuff, and I think my my, uh, my strong point is actually carrying, it, carrying the knowledge over in the easy way. You know, I don't, I don't like, Definitely. I can get really techy if you want me to, but you know, I've learned through time to kind of explain it simple, because people just like to get right to the point. Mm -hmm. You know, how do I get these photos? We want to photos? take the pictures. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Because you, you only have so much time in the night. You know, some people get tired really, really fast, you want to get some shots, go to, go to bed, or guys like me, I'll stay all night and, you know, mm -hmm. burn the candle at both ends. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're going to, I'm going to go over a few okay. little things and then, you guys would be rocking and rolling. Tell me one thing that beginners like me, like any of you out there, uh, maybe get wrong or maybe not necessarily get wrong, but could do differently that would make an impact for them. It's, it's um, a lot of people like, so I have a little handout that I, I give everybody in my workshops and we go over it as a team. And I always reiterate exactly what I said. I go from the top, we, we kind of go down and you know, is everybody set to raw, manual mode, manual focus and stuff like that, right? And if everybody's on, on the same page, it works out. But it's funny because people go too fast sometimes okay. and they have everything set. But like one thing I've, I've commonly seen between people is that their autofocus is on, you know? And so let's say they take the new G Master 24 millimeter, that's why we're out here to kind of test out how amazing this lens is. And it literally is like the holy grail of Astro, mm -hmm. um, and, and that lens I found to be at 11 meters. So if you guys get the 24 and you go you know, straight to the desert or whatever, just count on it being at 11 meters, right? And you, you take that down. But what happens sometimes is, you know, they don't, they don't switch the autofocus to manual focus. And I see this a lot. So you just gotta you know, pay attention to the little details because people get all excited about capturing the night sky. It ain't gonna go anywhere, you know? We're gonna go somewhere, but the stars aren't. So, you know, it's, it's about just, you know, just take it slow, you know, especially when you're learning. Okay. You know, that's it. And it's really cool with the Sony cameras is, I set your guys' cameras up today, is that you can set up all the settings and you can set it to a scene. And that's what I do, especially for like the newbies and stuff, is all you gotta do is you know, set it to like one, two, or three, and you're, you're, you're set for the night, you know? Um, another really cool point is, I, I, I kind of mentioned it earlier about locking your focus down. You know, like for the 24G Master, it's 11 meters, 
what I do is like, these are little tips and tricks. I get painter's tape. Paint, you know, tape it down, boom, lock it down, and you're good for the rest of the night. Because I do a lot of time-lapse photography, and you know how many times I've, I've blown it so hard where like I thought the focus was set, and I go away for two hours, come back, and find out that my focus was a tiny bit off. You know what I mean? Worse. So it's really good to like, once you find that, that sweet spot, and you get that point of light, lock it down with tape. You know, and it won't that, leave any residue. Yeah. It's just all those little tiny things. Yeah. You know what I mean? What a yeah. simple solution. Super easy. It. Yeah. Um, go to Home Depot. And get yeah, painters. exactly. I have painters okay. tape for everybody, so okay. it's all good. Okay, so go slow. Yeah. I get that, even though I don't always follow that. Yeah. Thanks so much for yeah. doing the cameras and for sitting down with me and with us. And so. I'm sure they want to see more. Yeah. I want to see more. Okay. <laughs> Where do we go? We, uh, well, myself. Uh, I have, my website is just stamonies.com and I kind of just started going a little bit, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get way deeper into my YouTube, YouTube channel. I had it for a little bit, so I'm gonna try my best. And you know, I'll try my best, because it's, it's really tough, you know, um, to do like, you know, kind of put out like one video a week and just little tiny things like this, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I have my YouTube channel, Stan Moniz, uh, website is stamonies.com. Instagram is my name again, stamonies. Facebook is stamonies productions. Okay. And I have time lapse work up there. I have a lot of uh, vlogs. I do. I do more vlogs, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's like the 500 rule, like you know, getting the exposure, the right exposure uh, time on your camera, depending on your lens. Uh -huh. I explain it all there. Just I do a lot of like you know tutorials and reviews on astro based stuff. Okay. So, and you can find it all okay. on the site. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And thanks you guys for watching. I will definitely share more with you guys later. You know what? Right now, I will share a couple photos that I take tonight. Do it. With our friend Stan. Do it. Talk to you guys later. Later.